We check in now on the latest cattle market news with our market update brought to you by Cattle Facts. Hello, I'm Ethan Obers of the Cattle Facts Update. It is no secret that cattle are being fed longer. The monthly average of days on feed of cattle that are currently in the feed yard is one of the longest has been noted in the last 25 years, basis Kansas feed yards. This trend is expected to continue as feeding cattle longer has been common through late 2014 into 2015. Heavier carcass weights, increased choice carcass production, and an increased number of carcasses scoring a yield grade of 4 or 5 all support that cattle are being fed longer. The increase in the number of days on feed has been a factor of the poor feeder cattle to fed cattle swap that we have seen. Through much of 2015 so far, it has made more sense to feed the cattle longer that are in, currently in the yard than try to replace that animal with an animal that has a higher break even attached to it. Cheaper cost of gains has also supported feeding cattle longer compared to recent history as the corn market has corrected lower the last 15 months. Feeding cattle longer has caused carcass weights to continue to show large year-over-year -year increases. Steer carcass weights averaged 900 pounds in the most recent data. This is 21 pounds heavier than year ago levels for this week. Year-to-date average steer carcass weights are 18 pounds over last year's levels or additional 177 million pounds using last year's steer slaughter year-to-date as a baseline. Heifer weights also paint a similar picture as year-to-date they are 16 pounds over year ago levels. Typically steer carcass weights peak in October or November. If this seasonal pattern continues this year, then steer carcass weights will put in all-time highs in the fall near the 915 to 920 pound mark. Regionally speaking, the northern feed yards are experiencing pockets of large heavy cattle currently, which is contributing to some weakness in the fed cattle cash market there compared to their partner feed yards in the south. Packers in the north are starting to apply discounts for heavy carcasses, which is contributing to the weakness seen there in the cash market as feeders become more willing settlers. Expect steer carcass weights to maintain week-over-week -week increases over the next 60 days before flattening out into late fall and early winter, putting a height in near 920 pounds. For the Angus Report and Cattle Facts, I'm Ethan Oberst. The Cattle Facts segment is brought to you by AgriClear. Buy and sell cattle in the United States and Canada with anyone, anywhere, anytime, with confidence. AgriClear. Cattle marketing on your terms. Visit www.agriclear.com.